Hi guys, this is Leela. <clears throat> Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the accepting the data with the input properties in Angular. So if you are following my Angular series and all those things, so you will be very much familiar with the input property. Normally in the React.js and Vue.js, we are using the props to accept the data from the component. So in the same scenario, in Angular also, we have the input properties. So if you are familiar with other frame web frameworks, input properties are nothing but they are similar to the props. So when creating a component, we can you can mark specific class properties as a bindable by adding the add rate input decorator in the property. For example, let's say that I am I will be I will be showing a simple example. So I am having a simple component like let's create a folder. Oh sorry, let's create a folder and I will remove this one all. Yeah, counter. I am using a counter. And for this counter, I am having a new one. So counter dot component dot ts. And for the same thing, you will be having counter. Oh, let's try to rename. Let's try to rename and take this one out. And here I will create a new file counter dot component dot css. And another one which I will be having is the counter dot component dot html. So this is our counter component which we are having and in the ts file so we will be writing export default class counter component so this is our component and in order to have a component what we need to do we need to use the at the rate component component decorator and here you will be having the selector and all those things you need to mention it so here I will be taking the selector app iPhone counter template URL and style URLs and for this one so as these are all standalone so you need to make it as a standalone true that is one thing if you don't want to make a standalone means you need to create the project without a standalone and you need to add the automatically module file will be created so those will be added so fine so now we have created this counter component and here this counter component whoever this uh, whoever they are using this app counter component so they will be having one input property okay so they will be taking that one input property that input property for example let's say that we need to mention it with an input decorator like this at the rate input and we will be having a count okay so like this we need to mention the count and we will be mentioning that one as a number and we will be having a default value like this now whoever are using this app iphone counter now you will be having an input property for this one so that means they need to send the count as a prop so for this one let's go to the app component app dot component dot html file and here i want to use this component so here i will be writing do app iphone counter so here i am using app iphone counter now it is showing that app counter is not defined why because so we as this one is a standalone component we need to mention this one in our app dot component dot ts file also so here I will be defining this one in counter. Okay. So counter component. So now if you go into this one in our app.html, now we are able to see the output, but app iPhone and counter I didn't mention, I didn't written any code. So let's go to the counter.html and here I'll be having h1 counter component. Okay. So counter component and here I will be writing the code do and here I can use this one so here we need to show this count so here I am showing the count data okay so count I am showing it we'll discuss about this one in our template data also we'll when we are discussing about the template syntax I will explain you about this one so now we are having this one let's try to refresh this page now we are not able to see the output so why because we are having this one app iphone counter yeah now i am able to see this counter component and zero now this zero is coming as a default value why because if nobody if nobody mentions the data here count doesn't mention means it takes as a zero value now if you mention this count data so that means so let's go to the app component.ts and here i will have a counter value okay of number is equal to 20 so i am setting the counter value and here I can send this value here like this counter count so the same name we need to use it and here I will be writing the counter that's it 
So now if you try to see here 20 we are able to get it. So this is how we will be accepting the data input properties. So now this lets you bind this one. So Angular refers to the properties marked with the input decorator as inputs. Now when whatever the thing you are marking this class properties as an input then these are considered as an inputs. When using a component you must pass the data to it by setting its input. Angular records inputs statically at compile time. Inputs cannot be added or removed at the runtime. So these are statically these, these, these inputs are statically so recorded at the compile time. So when extending a component class, class in her inputs are inherited by the child class. So and also you need to understand that inputs these are all the case sensitive. So these all inputs are the case sensitive. So another one which I want to tell you is the so the input decorator accepts a configuration object. So this input decorator also accepts one important thing that is nothing but a configuration object. What is this configuration object it is the first key the first value, the first value what it is present is the required option. You can also specify the required option to enforce that a given input must always must always have a value. For example, let's say that I will mention this one as a required true. So when I mention this one as a required true and here if I am not using this counter value or count value this one. Now let's see what will happen. See immediately I will get an error that required input count for this app counter. So that means you must mention this count value. Now here what I can do so that means automatically I need to mention the counter value. So if you try to use a component without specifying all of its required inputs, Angular reports an error at build time. So with build time only you are getting an error. If you try to see here, previously at the build time we are able to get the error. And another one which I want to tell you is that you can also specify a transform function to change the value of an input when it is set by Angular. So that means so you can also use the transform function. For example, let's say that you are having this counter value, right? So wherever you are sending a counter value, I need to uh, add uh, I need to add 20, uh, 10, 10, 10 to it. So I need to multiply by, by 10. So then what I can do is so here we are having this or app component.ts right. So here we can use another one that is nothing but transform. So transform here I can use something like uh, um, change value or anything. So any method. So this is a method. So which should be outside or anywhere you can use it. And here I will be using this change value, okay. And it will take the value of type number, okay. Value of type number. And for this one, what I will try to do is I can return value which I am trying to do into 10. That's it. So now, so this one I am trying to use it. So now, if you see here the output, so here we are not able to see the output, right? So let's try to uh, make this one as a separate file. And here I will try to use it something like uh, counter dot service dot ts file. And here in this one I will use this value. And here I will use this export function. And directly I can import this change value. So automatically we can import this change value. Now if you try to see the output. So here we are able to see this count value. But how much we are trying to send it. So counter dot service. We are sending value into 10 right now we are able to see this 200 value see so we can also use something like a transform in order to send the data for example let's say that uh, let's say here we need to send a message okay so i will be sending a message welcome message or anything i am sending it so for this message i want to trim the data so whatever the input i am getting i want to trim the data so here i can write something like input Okay, and here transform trim value, and uh, we know that message, right? So, what is the message? Message of type string is equal to empty. Okay, so now this trim value I need to use it. So, I can use it something like trim value function, and here this should be a value of type string. Okay. And here I will return trim value dot trim. Okay, so dot trim we can use like this. So hopefully this one should work. Why it is not working? Trim value. Trim value implicitly have written type any. Return trim value dot trim. It's not trim or what? 
trim value. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. We need to use the value. Oh, sorry. We need to use the value. Hopefully, this one should work. Components imports must be standalone components. Okay, okay. So we should not use it inside this one. So we should use here outside. And <clears throat> I can use the export function. Okay. And this trim value we can automatically use it here. So now whenever the input value changes, so in this one, so whenever the input value changes, now I can use directly in our counter.component.html file where it is html file. I can use this due. Here I can use the message. Okay. So now what I am trying to explain you this one is so whenever this input in the example above so we have seen it right so whenever angular runs this string uh, trim string whenever the message sets to the result so the most common use case for input transforms to accept a wide range of value types in the templates so that is one thing which i want to explain you hope you understood about this input thing so still there are some more things like type checking and built-in transformations and input alias also we'll try to discuss it in the next video so hope you understood about this concept. I will commit this one in our new branch that is 6 hyphen video. Okay. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. So and I am committing this one also input property. Sorry. Before closing, I will commit this one all. So if you have any doubts, I will be providing this GitHub repository in the description below. So you can have and take a look at that one. Thank you.